Would you like to know an online marketing secret? And I'm not going to make you wait or get your email address. I'm just going to go ahead and tell you right now. Whether you are doing a blog, search engine optimization, pay-per-click advertising, what can make these campaigns successful or fail is, ready for that secret? Keyword research. No matter if someone is searching on Google, voicing to their phone, or even searching on social media, without determining which keywords your audience is using, that can result in little to no traffic to your website or social accounts. You heard me say in episode number 68, social organic traffic secret, that hashtags are basically some social platforms like Instagram, keywords, just like the keywords you would search on Google. So not using a searched hashtag or the correct keywords can mean that nobody's gonna find you. It's like having that storefront that nobody knows where it's at. No traffic means no business. And I know what you're asking yourself, how do I find the correct keywords? Well, in this episode of IDM's Greg's Friday Tip Day, I'm gonna tell you about a free keyword research tool. It's actually gonna give you five free resources, so stay tuned. Hey everybody, Greg here from IDM in the beautiful city of Cabot, Arkansas. Keyword research, one of the most valuable research things you'll ever do for your business, especially if you have any type of search advertising going. Some people actually skip this step in their marketing, which can be a big mistake, or they just are posting on social and don't think that keywords are used. Well, I'll tell you right now that whether your target audience is on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Google, or other social or search platforms, your marketing efforts should always start with determining which keywords your audience is using. This is actually a very important step that I cannot stress enough because it allows you to see the volume and competition data for the keywords you think you want to use. The nice part about keyword research is we can also learn a lot about the words and phrases people are actually using when they search online. And sometimes it can be quite different from what we think. So without keyword research, well, you could be using the wrong keywords or hashtags for your business, which means no traffic and could be costing you money. Think about this. A prime example of how bad keywords or low search keywords can be costing you money. Let's use use Google Ads as an example. If you're going to invest in Google Ads, spend the time and money Okay, let's pause for a second. If you're gonna try to run Google Ads yourself, please check out my episode number 92, Google Smart Campaigns versus Search Campaigns over at idmarkstoff.com. Also, while you're there, check out my episode number 84, Google versus Bing, where we put both platforms' PPC networks in the ultimate battle to see which one is better. And episode number 73, PPC 101. Okay. If we're gonna spend the time and money on Google Ads, you would never want your ad to come up for keywords that would never turn into a lead. That's just like throwing your money away, right? And the same thought can be applied to other platforms as well. Okay, so let's look at a few free tools that we can use while doing our keyword research for our business. And remember, keyword research is not a one-size-fit-all process. There are some major differences between search and social keywords, which I promise I'll cover in a future episode. The first free keyword research tool we want to look at is answerthepublic.com. Answer the Public listens into autocomplete data from search engines like Google, then quickly cranks out every useful phrase and question people are asking around that search keyword. This tool doesn't so much give you competition data or volume, but it's still a great tool that allows you to understand the relationships and define the keyword categories and relevant questions that your content can help answer. It's for sure, for sure, great at helping to get ideas for content or blog. The next free tool is Uber Suggest. Now, Uber Suggest is a fully fledged SEO tool and remains free, providing keyword metrics, including keyword difficulty scores. Okay, so the next one is not so much a website, but a Google Chrome extension. Keyword Suffer is a free Chrome extension that pulls relevant keyword metrics into your browser as an overlay when using Google. You can toggle it on and off, and it's it's a useful tool for your keyword discovery phase. 
where you are trying to understand where and how to concentrate your efforts on. And of course, Google Ads Keyword Planner is a great free tool. It can help you discover new keywords by searching for words or phrases related to your product or services. You can get insights into how often searching words are searched and how those searches have changed over time. This can also help you narrow your keyword list down to the ones you really want. You can even get bid estimates that will help you figure out a pay-per-click budget. And the final free keyword research tool I want to share is Spafu. Spafu has some major power behind it. Originally, it was a competitive keyword research tool for paid and organic search, but has since evolved into a platform that provides a broad range of features, including search data, backlink analysis, rank tracking. I actually talked about Spafu in episode number 71, Spying on Your Competitor. So be sure to check that episode out over at idmarkansas.com. Well, there you have it. By performing keyword research and analyzing term usage on a site-by-site basis, you can gain an advantage over your competitors who likely only research their keywords once with a one-size-fit-all approach. Again, this is Greg from IDM in the beautiful city of Cabot, Arkansas, wishing everyone safe days. And if we can help you with anything, and I truly mean anything, even just a no pushy brainstorming over the phone, give me a call anytime at 501-941-3645 or visit me online at idmarkansas.com. And let's start your journey now.